All right, so I've had a lot of success with this uh, project so far. Um, I've incorporated the button, so obviously when you click the button, it sends the pulse width to the MOSFET, um, triggering the uh, output. Uh, if we scroll in on the screen here, uh, we get a lot more data when we're pressing the button. We actually get our uh, root mean square amperage as well as our resistance, uh, which are both calculated um, through uh, analog data coming to the Arduino. And then when we let go of the button, we uh, get our pile voltage as well as our RMS voltage, which we can adjust up and down. And uh, obviously that changes the uh, values that come back to us. Uh, we'll get a higher amperage with a higher voltage across the same resistance, obviously. So uh, all is well there. I've also incorporated under voltage lockout. Let's see there. So uh, if we scroll down, um, with our uh, power supply here and we go below 10 volts or it says pile too low and then uh, if the user tries to click the button it says seriously and locks them out for 15 seconds so uh, that's a nice handy feature if uh, their batteries get too low So about a uh, five volts RMS, uh, 0.5 ohm coil on it. Let's turn it up a bit. Six volts RMS. certainly works the way it's supposed to. Alright, so I thought I'd post a quick video on the progress that I've made with my mod here. Um, it's a three cell pulse width modulation mod with a digital display, so uh, to give you feedback, such as your output voltage, your resistance, so on and so forth. Um, to start the, the mod up, I press and hold the fire button, and it'll turn on the backlight and give you a little splash screen. The backlight is all adjustable, so you can uh, change the brightness whenever you want. Uh, when you start up the mod, you're graded with your battery um, percentage uh, up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, bottom right is your wattage. Um, that's based off of your pile voltage under load with this uh, resistance. So that, that is also measured um, through all of the feedback circuitry. Uh, so once you start adjusting the pulse width value, um, it also adjusts the output value based on the pile voltage and uh, because that's under load uh, you shouldn't expect to see um, much sag while you're firing it so uh, all you see is your uh, amperage show up in the upper right corner uh, 16 amps multiplied by your 7.3 volts is hopefully uh, 120 watts somewhere there um, let me unscrew this here so I can change it up for a different atomizer this is where the camera goes all funky. Uh, 
let me screw this guy on first. Um, this is essentially a dead short. It's uh, just a resistor leg and um, and a patty here. Uh, let me screw that on. And uh, what this should give me is a few uh, error messages on the screen. First of all, um, uh, we might get a battery sag protection. That'll happen if um, the battery pile happens to sag below 9 volts while it's loaded. Uh, another one we might see is overcurrent protection, um, in which case the device will lock us out. It'll send us back to uh, where we were before the splash screen, and uh, we will have to restart the mod. Um, uh, and we might also see uh, low resistance, so <laughs> let's see which one of these situations happens when I fire it up. So, battery sag protection, first of all. And overcurrent. So now it's going to lock us out. And uh, now we need to restart the mod. So if I restart it now, because that's um, that resistance is in there, it's just going to check it, notice that it's too low, and uh, throw us right back out again. Now what I'm going to do is turn this potentiometer way down. So that way it's not uh, outputting any, um, any voltage really, uh, because the pulse width will essentially be zero. So when I start it up here, we should see the uh, low resistance instead of the overcurrent, um, because we're not technically pulling any current. And low resistance, there we go. So that'll send us back to our main screen. And uh, now I can take that off. Let me change it out for one more atomizer. I've got a uh, 1.8 ohm coil here on the Nautilus. Unscrew that first. Really should have prepared this a bit better. But, uh, don't expect Michael Bay performances. There we go. So now we can fire that up. Boom. 1.8 ohms. Um, my battery voltage is turned all the way down so we could get that low resistance error. So I'll turn that up to about uh, 12 watts. Very nice. So yeah, it uh, it all seems to be working. It's protecting the end user from um, stupid situations or uh, shitty situations, whatever you want to call them. Situations where uh, they the end user does not want to find themselves in when it comes to a mod. And uh, you've got a fully regulated output. Um, I, I did the math, um, if the pile happens to not sag down past 12 volts uh, on a 0.3 ohm coil, which I highly doubt will happen, but uh, if, if that situation does occur, uh, we are looking at a, um, an excess of 400 watts, uh, so th that would be a really, really cool uh, number to see on the screen, so if I can make it happen, I will definitely let you know, and uh, I'll be posting more updates um, as I get this in a box and uh, and um, ready to go so stay tuned all right quick little update on the BMF it's in this shabby new box lithium polymer battery uh, which does help with the discharge rate a little bit Ooh, there we go, 414 watts. Hold on one sec. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 414 watts with the loaded voltage of 11.77 uh, across the 0.3 ohm coil. Not practical, but it does it.